Can anyone guess what kind of laptop this is when it says half top laptop? Oh well, I'll tell you. Here it is. In my previous video, you've seen the eMachines D620 and all of its damaged goodness. Um, this is an update video on the eMachines half top laptop D620. It is no longer a laptop with a screen, but with an external screen. Um, in the previous video, it was running Windows Vista Basic, I think it was 32-bit, Service Pack 1. And one, it was slow, and two, the computer did not look appealing cosmetically. Like, just the way you looked at it, it it looked like it was worth throwing in the dumpster than anything. Well, this is an update video. And it is now running Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1. And it is a 32-bit operating system. <clears throat> Let's see if the sound works. Yep. Um, I've upgraded the RAM just a little bit. Uh, it only had a gig of RAM inside, and I found a 512 stick, put it in there, and now I have 1.50 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, just a little tiny upgrade, nothing major. Um, the internet works. Given the fact that the screen was so badly damaged and the wireless antenna cables were severed badly, like they were torn apart. I can still go on the internet, no problem. I think I can go on YouTube. It just takes a while for the internet. Okay, here we go. So there's YouTube. And there's that stupid picture again where it says, not what it looks like. Anyway. Um, you're probably wondering, where's the screen, and what have I done to it? Well, nothing yet, but it's going to get recycled. Here's the screen, and you can clearly see that's what's left of the wireless antenna cable. And... There's the other one. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's left of them. And I finally figured out what this little cable was for. <clears throat> Even though Acer, which is basically e-machines, even though they didn't have a webcam, they included a microphone. And I didn't know that it had a microphone on it. So, there's the cable for it. Oops. Anyway, um, the only piece that I will be saving is the latch mechanism and the screen bezel itself. And I just might save the inverter board and the cable, but that's it. The back of the screen looks like it was rammed up against the wall, and the back of it is badly damaged. So, that's all I'm going to be saving is just those few parts and that's it. But it's funny to me because every computer that I get has one defect or has a minor or a serious problem. This is my HP. I think it is a DV2000 or DV5000. I don't know. Okay, so it's a DV5000. When you look at it, it looks like a pretty decent laptop. Con uh, considering that it does have a few bad cosmetic blemishes, but nothing major. The screen has been, I mean, the back panel has been sanded down. Can, doesn't look that bad. 
but when you look at it, it looks like a pretty decent laptop. But when you're carrying it around and just set it down, like so, and you get up and walk away, you'll have someone chasing after you saying, hey man, you dropped your battery. And then you look at the laptop and think, oh shit, yeah, I did drop the battery. So yeah, the first day that I brought this HP to school and then brought it to work, I had set it down, picked it up, and walked away. Didn't realize that the battery had fallen out. Well, the locking clips that locks the battery in place have broken off, so... Not from me, but from the previous owner. So now, every time when I carry it around, I have to hold it like that or put duct tape on it. So that's the HP. This computer, um, all it needs is a screen and, well, it needs a new screen, a back panel, and I believe the hinges. I think that's all it needs. I would assume that it would come with um, the wireless cables or anything like that, but it's not, not really needed. Um, I have this laptop configured a little bit better, or um, set up a little bit differently. If you look on this side, I'm going to try to zoom in here. But you see that cable right there? That's the auxiliary wireless antenna. And on this side is the main uh, wireless antenna. And they're just poking out through little holes in the laptop that were from the screen hinges. So the hole is about, about that size. That's right, I had to shove the little wireless cables through that tiny little hole on each side. And now I have three bars, which is not bad. And considering the fact that my HP computer is all the way over there, I have a wireless stick all the way up there just to get three bars. How pathetic is that? So yeah, if I was closer to the router, then I would get a better signal. The same with the HP over there. Um, and yes, the mouse pad does work. I just don't use it when I'm trying to do something. Like, this is kind of hard to do. So, anyway, um, let's see. Now, I'm going to show you guys something here. Um, let's look on Google and type in this laptop um, model and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so E machines D620 for parts. Oops. Okay, so let's see. Because I've noticed on eBay every single computer that looks just like this one that I'm trying to get for parts has that broken screen hinge and it really pisses me off. I don't know what it is with it. Okay, so clearly there's a picture right there of that damaged spot. I'm gonna see if I can view it a little bit larger. Okay, so this is a perfect picture. Look at that. The better part is the screen isn't cracked. The screen is perfect. But look at that. The whole screen is actually coming off. And look at this one. Broken. 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 So 
really... I think, one, the screen hinges on all of these e-machine book notebooks are defective. And also the plastic is pretty cheap, don't get me wrong. But that's one of them. And they want 42 bucks for that. Well, I guess it's not a bad deal because it does come with two gigs of memory. And the original hard drive was 160 gigabytes. This one has a 500 gigabyte drive. Um, so yeah, the only thing that's different about this one is <laughs> the whole screen is there and it works. So let's find another one. Um, okay, so spares or repair. Let's see if there's any damage on this one. Uh, don't install right now. Yeah, this one's fine, but it's just for parts are not working. Oh yeah, the screen is broken on this one. Okay. Holy shit. Every computer that I find that's just like this one <laughs> has a problem, and it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, okay. But I did a major eBay search and just kept finding all of these machines online and they were just busted. Okay, what's this one, as is? Because when it says as is, you know that there's something wrong. Okay, there's nothing wrong with this one. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I was able to find that one, but I found a lot of them on here. But, to be real honest with all of you, I don't think it's worth me buying um, uh, parts for this computer, because I'm going to be into quite a bit of money. And most of these parts are located in the United Kingdom, so, you know, is it really worth it, though? Because you never know, like, these are um, used parts. So here's a used back panel, or plastic bezel. And here's a hinge. Now, the hinge is the major cause to why it breaks like that. And this hinge is basically off of a working notebook. But the problem is, what if I run into the same problem again? Like what if I go ahead and close the screen and then boom, it breaks? You know, like it, I'm basically gambling with my money here if I just go ahead and buy a screen hinge and new parts and all that. Because I don't want to just one day close the lid and then hear that boom sound. And I'll just look down and see broken plastic again. Okay, so here's another one with the antenna cords for 49 pounds and 99 cents. Oh, wait, okay, so that's pounds. Um, they do ship to Canada, but I don't know how to um, change the currencies or anything like that on here. <sighs> anyway. But really, guys, all I think is, is that this computer is worth using the way it is. You know, I can unplug it, and I can still use it, you know? I have 98% left on the battery. And I can get up to two hours of battery life on a single charge. So if I need to unplug the laptop at any time to use an outlet, I can do that, you know? 
So really, this computer is good for portability, or if I'm trying to burn a DVD, and if the power goes out, the laptop won't shut off, it will stay on. Just the screen will go off. But, not bad, you know? It, it's a laptop that's worth using, but probably not worth buying the parts for, because I just cannot risk it. I don't want to risk buying a screen <clears throat> that is defective and buying the screen hinge and um, the plastic cover because I'm not sure if it will break or not. That's what I'm really scared of. But anyway. So yeah. Um, other than that, the machine works fine. Um, and this hard drive isn't even full yet. Like it... <laughs> There's only 14 gigs used, and there's 451 gigabytes of free space. So, this computer might be used as a little portable server or something like that, like just a network server, and I might just store files on the drive. You know, I think that's what it will be used for. But anyway, um, yeah, it still works, and... I hope it continues to work. Till then.